New York is one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world, but finding an authentic cup of chai was so hard. And so we really wanted to create something that we wanted to exist. I think it's so important to play your strengths when you have a strong co-founder or a strong brother. I think it really helps that uh, you don't have to worry about you know not trusting somebody or not being able to put pressure on that person. And, and we got really lucky uh, in that sense. I'm Ani Sanyo. And I'm Ayn Sanyo. And Coca de Chai is our business. Masala chai is basically a spiced milk tea that's found on the streets of South Asia everywhere. It's usually made with different spices like cardamom and ginger and a really strong black tea. The perfect cup of chai is really about balance. You wanna balance the different spice elements and you wanna balance the strength of the tea and you also wanna balance how milky it is. And if you get all these things kind of perfectly done, then it makes a really wonderful warming and energizing drink. I think shifting the narrative from survival to thriving is really important um, as first-gen kids, and, and we take that personally. We're so used to watching our parents struggle and, and kind of find their footing in this American dream. We don't get to really tell our story a lot of the time, and I think that's what you know we've done with Coca the Chai is really plant a flag for you know where our family comes from, what our culture is about. And the name especially, Kolkata, is the uh, Bengali pronunciation of the old city of Calcutta, the old capital, the old British capital of India. That's where both our parents were born and that name just means a lot to us. We really wanted to put Kolkata in New York City. Ayan is a product guy and the, and the retail guy, so anything that you taste is Ayan. And I'm the marketing and branding guy and everything that you see is me. And I think we were naturally inclined, you know, to love those parts of the business. And so I run all the online, the digital, the e-commerce and Ayan works on creating the perfect cafe experience for our customers. We are you know, in rapid growth mode, and so right now we make anywhere between 100,000 to 200,000 a month, and we expect that to grow you know, rapidly in the next couple months. I think building an omni-channel business is essential nowadays because of the different ways that people consume. People want multiple touch points and multiple options, and I think food is an industry that's been behind the curve in terms of adopting omni-channel. You want to meet customers where they are at any point in time. You want to have um, the optionality you know, for them to enjoy your product. Right now, our three main revenue channels are the brick and mortar business, which we're sitting in right now, uh, our e-commerce business, which has our dry tea and spice mix along with other products, and our food service business where we supply our chai concentrate to restaurants, cafes, and uh, people looking to bring authentic chai to, to their uh, operation. We want to be in every major city in some capacity where you know you can go on your phone and order a cup of chai or you know order a nice uh, little street food snack if you want and just be available and, and make that authentic experience that we've made available in New York City and make that available to everybody. The e-commerce operation is obviously a huge part of our business and I don't manage it alone. For me, it's about setting a tone and setting a vision for you know products, the voice, the, the content and how we want things to look and feel. We never spent a dollar in online marketing uh, for the last two years and we've had six figure you know, growth each year. And so that just goes to show the power of brand and the power of community when you do things right. The future that I see of Coca-Cola Chai is that it's going to be the chai brand in the United States where the different access points are going to be available. The long-term vision for Coca-Cola Chai is to be the household name for chai globally across brick and mortar, uh, e-commerce, and you know, um, picking it up in stores like retail C4G stores. And we want people to be able to finally experience authentic chai. It's a big vision and it takes a lot of big uh, focus, but that's, that's what we've been at. Our mom is actually like one of the biggest marketing vehicles for KCC because she be telling everybody about what we're doing and uh, I think she's very proud of that. I tell Ayn all the time, you know, what we're most proud of is what impact it's had on our parents, you know, kind of giving them something to look forward to every time they come to New York, giving them something to talk about in their own community and really knowing that their sons were able to A, work together and, and figure something out, but B, also create something that was so real. I think it's given our parents almost like a second life and I think that's really exciting, you know, as first gen kids to see that joy. That's been a huge motivational, you know, uh, factor for, for sure. We fight less because of that. There you have it. <laughs>